Welcome back to another episode. This is what I call a jumper. Jumped out of my 34 gallon cube, uh, landed on the tile. I did have a screen for my Salona, but the problem was when I pit my uh, hang on the back protein skimmer, um, it kind of threw off the screen so it looked ugly and I didn't even pit it back on. I have went ahead and uh, corrected this and it's fitted to my skimmer now. When I started on my Nano, one of the first things I bought was my auto top off. I bought the Tunzi Nano Osmolator um, and it was working pretty good. I had issues. I communicated back and forth with Tunzi here in the US and they helped me out with the tech support. What was really cool is they ended up replacing uh, my pump for me. Um, since I fit this pump on, I haven't had any more issues with the tank. So I really appreciate their help in getting my tank squared away. I also had the AI controller. Um, my controller kind of blanked out. It's still functional and everything. The screen works uh, like as far as being lit up, but you can't make any adjustments because you cannot see the screen. So I contacted AI. Um, they told me I could go ahead and buy a new one. I was like, I understand I could buy a new one. And, you know, we talked back and forth. Really appreciate the help from them. And they said that they uh, had a spare one laying around in the shop and they could uh, go ahead and send it out to me. So I emailed them back. I gave them my address. And then here's the box that I got from them. Uh, when I ended up opening it up, I was uh, very surprised on what I got. Um, I was expecting an old uh, junkie controller. But uh, they ended up sending me the uh, newer version of the AI controller, um, which is great. I really appreciate that. Um, because you know what, they didn't have to do that at all. Um, so as soon as I opened it up, I saw that um, and I was pretty excited. But the only thing is, since I couldn't make an adjustment on my uh, old controller because I had my whole lighting program in there, um, I was kind of uh, stressing it. But then I had remembered that I went to Reef Central. Um, I did a thread on a LED T5 uh, lighting hybrid schedule and uh, I was able to get it right there. I also ended up trading some frags for some equipment. I sent out some equipment. Uh, Jay Bliss, those of you who watch my YouTube, uh, we ended up doing the trade together but uh, the problem was the USPS uh, ended up sending my stuff from Miami, Florida all the way up to New York City and then from New York City all the way down to El Paso, Texas and uh, Primar primarily my shipment was a bunch of Zoas, so as I kept seeing the list and list get longer, well, it should have took two days, I started getting uh, a little worried that my stuff would not survive. Um, but I, I did finally get it, they were supposed to deliver it to my door, and uh, you know what, they just left it in a community mailbox, so that really sucked. I ended up uh, getting this box, the box was already pretty beat up, it was marked fragile all over the place. But uh, as you can see, they didn't give it a darn. They just, you know, pretty much threw it. It's not their mail, so, you know, who cares? Um, when I got my Zoles out, uh, the, as you can see, the water is pretty dirty. It smelled pretty funky, and, of course, I did a coral dip on them, uh, try to kill any bacteria. Ended up throwing them in the tank, and, you know, it took, uh, like, about a whole week for them to open. I thought they were dead. Some of them did melt away. Um, in fact, some of the Zoas were see-through because they had been in the box for so long uh, with no light and uh, they ended up looking like bubble coral, bubble algae. Um, I ended up buying some uh, Providine iodine to do uh, some iodine dip on this. I made the iodine as dark as possible and uh, hopefully that they start to open up. In case you didn't know, the iodine helps rebuild tissue. It also kills bacteria, so that's what I was helping for. Uh, after a while, it did um, start to open and up, open up, and I just want to go ahead and show you a closer look at some of the zoos. Um, those zoos right there, they did melt off, uh, but there are some survivors. Like these ones right here, um, they're starting to open after about two two weeks in the tank. I can't still tell what color they are, but uh, they did start to open, so there was a little bit of hope especially with um, you know my lighting combinations of the LED and T5s. Those right there I did get, they survived. These ones start 
didn't have any color when I got them and uh, they came back to life so put them up top and hopefully they start to grow out and uh, but yeah just just getting these zoas um, proves that you know zoas are pretty hardy um, and they can take some extreme conditions especially as as I showed you on the list um, also my powder blue tang um, ended up dying this is one of the clips that I did have of him uh, swimming around but the little powder blue tang died I had bought uh, three Antheas at a good price from someone local and um, I got them for eleven dollars each I don't think he took very good care of them because when I got them they all pretty much died in a matter of days um, and then I think those Antheas stressed on my powder blue tang and then so now my powder blue tang got ache really bad and I was just trying to just dump as much garlic in there and just didn't make it man so that really sucks and I probably won't buy any more fish for a, a good while and if you guys are still with me on this point of the video this was my algae turf scrubber this was about the first week um you know uh the water was splashing all over the place so i ended up making like a glass cage for a type of deal the lighting that i was using was an led bulb which i had hanging over my chato and uh after the first cleaning in about two weeks this is about a one week's worth of uh turf algae algae turf scrubber um, the modifications that I did, I put the zip ties through the net instead of actually being in the pipe. And it's giving me a little bit better flow right there, more uniform. And it is growing pretty good. Um, this is only one week after a cleaning. So, you know, it's doing good. I may go ahead and add a second pump to there just to get a little bit more flow. But I did bump up my lighting to the 18 hours. It comes... On, on my Reefkeeper light, I added a second bulb, uh, two CFL bulbs, and uh, I just got rid of that other red and blue um, LED that I was using because uh, this these two lights together are a lot brighter. So it is growing, and I'm going to go ahead and keep it on my system for now. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off my GFO uh, media and then use that uh, MJ1200 pump and put it onto the algae turf scrubber. Um, also, I am still running my skimmer. I'm not going to turn that off. Uh, just the scrubber is going to be to aid my skimmer, not get rid of my skimmer. Um, also picked up some a few more frags. These frags I ordered from uh, someone off of Instagram. I'll go ahead and give you, give him a shout out. Uh, he did a great job packaging my stuff. Sent me um, these Zoas some tub blues, also some fruit loops, and he also sent me a SPS. I uh, highly re recommend him. And uh, you know what? He, he gives you a whole lot for your uh, of corals for your money. And I also picked that up from him too. So very happy. Would most definitely order from him. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, insert his name so that you guys can look him up on Instagram. He also has a, a YouTube channel and it's doing pretty good. I ended up ordering from him because uh, he had the Fruit Loops, the Tubbs Blues. Um, those were the two Zoas that I had been trying to get locally here and just everybody didn't seem to have them. So went through him, very happy with it. The packaging was great. Uh, he sent me also a purple Digi. It was more purple than that. But um, hopefully it gets does good in my tank. I put it higher up in my tank for the lighting. And... Uh, other than that, man, um, go ahead and hit me that like, hit that subscribe, and uh, re really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, you guys take care. Have a good one.